So as a pharmacist, I uh, liaise with a lot of uh, patients, telling them about their medicines, talking to them through about their medicines. So it's important to make sure that they're getting right advice. Injections and have my blood pressure taken and for general advice, which he is excellent in giving and of course, obviously, prescriptions. We support care homes in our services. You know, we provide dosset boxes for patients. You can always go to your pharmacist for any advice and pretty much till seven, eight o'clock at night and they know you. The term that we used to hear in the 70s, family practitioner, that role has been taken over by the pharmacist. We do a lot of services like malaria, you know, prevention, chemoprophylaxis, vaccine information. Um, we give advice about sort of minor ailments, how best patients can, you know, really care for themselves. The environment of the pharmacy has changed so much in the last 10 years. Now we have consultation rooms, different services are being offered from pharmacies and over the years governments have recognised this and there's been investment in pharmacy. It's more about being the first port of call for uh, people who find it difficult to get to their GPs. Pharmacy is more than just medicines, it's about providing additional services, uh, having an ear to the, giving a, lending an ear to the patient, finding out the concerns because a lot of um, the social activities can impact on their medicines as well. We also um, have very close associations with doctors and hospitals in the local area, you know, to support them. One of our patients felt quite sick. Um, he started having a seizure, rolled back his head, fell on the floor and the pharmacist and I kind of assisted him to feel better. We laid him on the side and took care of him and make sure he was not at risk or any of any danger uh, until the ambulance came. I'm only allowed one particular NSAID uh, because of a heart condition. And it was my pharmacist that discovered that I can't take it because of the blood pressure medicine that I'm on. The GP didn't have the time to make that discovery. So they offered to find Dr. For me, which I thought was wonderful. So I felt secure, you say, yes. And these are all sorts of things that, if not picked up, could actually lead to serious patient harm. Any service needs to have the patient at the centre of it. It needs to be designed with the patient in mind. They can come into a community pharmacy, they are, have access to a healthcare professional on the high street who is available without an appointment to come and ask any question. And I think that's what pharmacy is all about, putting the patient at the heart of the NHS.